All right, folks, it's time for another episode of Ridiculous Bible Story Time. This is going to be number four. But before I get started, I just want to say that I read an article about uh, conservatives all over the country that are saying certain books should not be in our public schools. And um, they're saying, you know, the ones that refer to homosexuality, transgender, anything that might remotely be construed as sexual or violent, they want to uh, pull these books from the libraries of public schools because they believe they're harmful or uh, dangerous, you know, I, like, you know, somebody's going to read a like a, like a straight kid's going to read a book that talks about a gay couple and all of a sudden they're going to be like gay. You know, it's dumb because it's like, how many, how many times does that happen? It just, that's just dumb. All right. So the reason I say this is because uh, they say removing the Bible from the public school library is, is wrong. Now, they're the ones that have set up the uh, the rules. They're like, well, you know, anything sexual or too much violence or whatever, you know, that shouldn't be in there. But the Bible's okay. As a matter of fact, they make children's versions of the Bible, you know, little ones with all the like, cute little like trains and flowers and shit. And, uh, you know, it's so bizarre because it just goes to show you that these conservatives, these Christian conservatives, man, they don't read the Bible. They haven't read the Bible. Because if they had, there's no way the Bible would be left on the shelves of these public school libraries. Because, well, that leads us into Ridiculous Bible Story Time number four. All right. So, I have a new, I have a different Bible today. I'm mixing it up. Today we're going to, this is spicy, this is juicy, this is dirty, this is to prove my point that the Bible is full of the stuff that they say should not be in public schools, but yet they will give children's Bibles to little kids. All right, here we go. Well, just one example of what I'm talking about. This is Ezekiel 20, no, Ezekiel 23, verse 20. Okay. <clears throat> She was infatuated with their male prostitutes, whose members were like those of asses, and whose seed came in floods like that of horses. Let me break that down for you. Basically, what they're saying is, this uh, female in the Bible, she craved big cocks and... Floods of cum, of ejaculation. Now, I if that doesn't qualify for their whole, oh, we can't have books in the public libraries or schools because of sexual things. I mean, come on, man. She likes she likes giant cocks and loves fucking tons of cum. That's in there. I, you know, I'm just reading it. That's, you know, that's some subject matter, I think, that qualifies. If they want to go with those rules, get the Bible out of public school libraries. Now, again, there's, there's tons of verses that I could pick to prove my point. But I thought that one was pretty, pretty graphic, so I'd slap it up there. And, uh, yeah. So that wraps it up for Ridiculous Bible Story Time, number four. Tell me, what do you think?